Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 87. I'm Anton. We have with us today our guest, Hayden. Hi, Hayden. Great to be here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have um, anything prepared. I hope uh, someone else has. Uh, I don't either. It's a good thing that we have backup uh, to come help us out on days like this. Uh, we have from the In Some Cinematic Universe, Plumman. Plumman, welcome again to the ICU. Welcome, Plumman. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Great. How are Great, you? Thank you. Well, so, oh, so I, I hear you don't have a tip today, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> you have anything for us? Okay. Yeah, uh, I do have actually. Uh, and if you allow me, let me present you what the problem is uh, with what I'm showing on the screen. Okay. Uh, you, you can see here uh, that's an interactive report, but it could also be interactive grid. And the use case is that our client wants that column, the order status, uh, styled differently. And mm. it should be styled depending on the status ID. So for example, if it is three, it is uh, something bad, for example, not delivered, so it should be red, uh, or status one is uh, ready, whatever. It is Sounds easy like a for, good UX to me. Yeah, for the easy for the client to see immediately what the status is. And so we did so, a little bit. We did a little bit of, on this in episode seventy-five. I'm going to recommend people check that out as well because it's not a perfect overlap on this. They, they both make sense. Because, but I see you've got grids, reports, classic reports. It's a lot more generic than what we showed, and you're also doing cell by cell. So I'm interested to see um, how this improves upon or uh, maybe augments what we showed in episode 75. Okay, uh, let me start my timer and uh, I'll explain in more it's details. Only five minutes. Yeah. So first, let's start with the fact that our query has one additional column, uh, which is called CSS color. And nice. this uh, CSS cover column is uh, based on the status ID. So depending on the status ID, I have different uh, different text. And that text is actually a CSS class. So, so if it's a CSS class can't, in the interactive grid, can't we just use, I think the interactive grid has a place where you can just put that, right? Or no? Yeah, uh, you're, you're completely right. Uh, if we go to our column and go down, there is a field called CSS classes. So maybe we could use that. But let's take a look at the help. Yeah, uh, let's let's see what uh, what they suggest here. So we can put some uh, some CSS class name, but I think it doesn't support the column name uh, as a substitution string. So I think, probably uh, hopefully the Apex team can fix that. An opportunity yeah. for another Apex idea right here on Apex Instant Tips. It's about half of our shows. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so, so what do we do instead? Uh, any other solution? Have you have you used that uh, before? Well, uh, another um, uh, attribute that is available at the column level is the HTML expression, and that's available both in the interactive grid and the interactive report. Yeah, in classic, oh, classic report reports well. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, here we have uh, some good help. We can put some uh, custom HTML code. So I have prepared uh, one here. You can see that uh, we have the CSS color comb in the class uh, definition. So a, a great example that, of how um, Apex Help can really do a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, let, let's see how it looks in our report. Well, it, yeah. it did the job, right? It's very uh, obvious yeah, which is which. It's a, it's a little bit ugly, though, right? Because it's not the whole cell. It's just like. Hey, come on, don't be so picky. <laughs> it could <laughs> be worse. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's look at the, at the HTML behind it. So this is what we uh, put uh, in our HTML expression. This is the diff that I have used. And we can see that uh, our CSS uh, cover was uh, successfully put on that place. Interesting. But uh, the thing is that in order to style uh, the cell more beautifully, we need it here in, in this class definition on the parent TD element. And is there so, any field in Apex that allows you to pass the class into the TD elements instead of just the div? Well, I've gone through all the, 
all the fields I didn't find such. So I needed to to create a very simple JavaScript code uh, that uh, that does that for me. And here I have uh, one uh, dynamic action for for my interactive report that does that for me. So let's clear the condition and show you what it contains. Basically, it goes through uh, the div container, finds it, and then finds the parent TD element. Mm. After it finds it, it gets all the CSS classes and moves them one step above to the parent TD element. Oh, so you still use the div that you put in the HTML expression as well yeah, in combination so, with this. Oh, interesting. Exactly. I, I use that. Uh, I already have the class name, so I'll just move it one step up. And now let's refresh. Oh, and that's wow. much better. Yeah. We have it. And if we take a look at the TD element now, it has exactly the same styles as the diff element. So it's a, it's a, a little bit of a shame that, that there isn't a more declarative solution to this. But uh, it, it was only a few lines of jQuery, so it's not so bad. Yeah, uh, but why why should we go that way? Uh, I believe that it is not such a big uh, problem to implement a solution where you can simply define your class on the TD element here mm -hmm. declaratively in the builder. Right. And uh, for, for that uh, reason, we have prepared uh, an idea. But uh, let's stop the timer because I think uh, we've done it in five minutes. All right, but if I want that, if I want that JavaScript code and I don't have to type it and look really closely at your screen, where can I get it? Uh, you can you can find the whole solution uh, in my uh, blog post about uh, styling Apex uh, report sales. Uh, we'll share uh, the the link, and we'll also share the idea that uh, we have submitted in the Apex Ideas app. If you feel, if you think that this is a use case that many of us face in their work, uh, you can uh, uh, you can support it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah it, it, this deserves more than more votes than just one vote from you, Paul. Right, right. It's uh, it comes down to um, our our foolproof method of how to get uh, a bug fixed or how to get an idea going. Yeah, show it. You know, show it. <laughs> And, and show the, the complicated way and hope that the Apex team uh, makes, it, makes it easier. Um, well, I like this a lot. Uh, um, I'm, I've got a wisdom of the week for after, uh, after people drop off that don't want to be here. But if you came in just for five minutes, be sure to check out Plumman's blog on this. We'll put it in the show, show notes as well. Um, and if you're really just leaving, go ahead and do all the things you're supposed to do. Um, you know, tell your friends all that. But I, I've missed the um, Wisdom of the Week segment. Uh, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yes, well, okay. So this Wisdom of the Week is um, based a little bit upon a teaser I had from last week. Um, my Wisdom of the Week is if you're able, when you turn 80, go indoor skydiving. And I'll show a little, this This is my mom, indoor skydiving. Yep. Is quite a blast. I have to tell Amazing. you. Amazing. Um, there she is. <laughs> My mom is eighty years old, and there she is. In her... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so, absolutely. Um, I think uh, anyone anyone that's reasonably healthy can can do it, and it's a, it was a great opportunity uh, for for the family to get together and and have some fun. So. Um, that is that is my wisdom of the week. Um, I might be tempted to do, to do that before I made it as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, certainly don't don't wait uh, if you have yeah. the chance. Get get out there and do it. Plumman, have you have you done such a thing, or have you done the real thing? No, but uh, I saw exactly the same thing uh, here in London uh, one week ago. So I should definitely try it. Yeah. And but Hayden, have you done the real? Have you jumped out of a plane? I've done actual skydiving. That's correct, uh, but yes. obviously tandem. Like I didn't. It, go right, start. right. Well, I have to say it, it. It was. I did it as well. It was fun. Um, and I think you probably get more time free fall 
in the in the indoor skydiving than you do uh you know your, certainly your first jump um out of a plane uh, that's right all right well that's all i have for this week um we've you've wasted a perfectly good 11 minutes uh get back to your friday afternoon get outside have some fun yeah or friday evening thanks yeah, everybody. Friday evening. <laughs> thanks thanks for joining us Palman. bye bye everybody